Hmm. Yeah, hello and welcome to this video. I hope this works. Got a, an update of my XSplit recording software. And somehow that made the whole starting of the, of the recording extremely slow. Okay, so playing WGM Hubar. And uh, she usually outplays me somehow and then loses. My score is pretty good, 7.5 out of 9, but I usually, <laughs> it doesn't look like that uh, at all. A5, oh my goodness, yeah, that's a good line actually. Knight c3 I think is right here. And then d4, I think this is how it is played. Um... Yeah, black is going for bishop a6. Hmm, how do I play this variation? I think somehow knight d2 is uh, is also on my agenda, but hmm, not entirely sure. Covering c4 here. And then e4, maybe next. However, after e4, d takes c4, knight c4, b5, there might be some b4 for the exchange on f1. Hmm. We'll see what she does. Knight bd7 looks like the most uh, obvious choice. But black may also play. Um, other things preparing maybe rook to d7 interesting idea mm, i don't know if knight of queens if queen c2 really helps mm. again e4 d takes c4 knight c4 b5 b4 looks uh, well, well i might have some compensation there Yeah, I definitely have some compensation, but do I have enough? I don't know. And she might play this rook d7 stuff. Yeah, one thing I know, I'm taking too long. <laughs> taking too long. Of course, yeah, that, that was uh, an alternative. Yeah, so... Hmm, difficult. Let's go e4 here. I want to try to be active here. But maybe she just takes twice on c4, yeah? That's really possible. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that makes quite some sense. They just take twice on c4. I might get the c4 pawn back though, even just with knight a4, yeah. Okay, so this is not so worrisome. Yeah, well, maybe rook d1 first. Taking on the d4 is not really on. She had c3 uh, if I play, if I would have played knight a4 immediately. Um, yeah, here knight c5 looks like an interesting move. That's an annoying thing here. She doesn't want me to take on a6, I think. And it's a little bit uncomfortable here. You also cannot take on c5 after d takes and knight takes c4. Black's position really looks wrong. So... It's a bit of a, yeah, between a rock and a hard place thing. Doesn't look all that good. I think knight b6 wasn't right. Yeah, so she's uh, trying to 
take this later. Uh, take with the queen, I'm sorry. I can play bishop f1 and then take it next. Yeah, let's play simple chess. Happy, being happy with the with the bishop pair. And maybe the slightly better structure. Let's stop that pawn. That's one of the better games against her. At least this time I'm not getting totally outplayed. <laughs> I really remember those games yeah, when I felt like, hmm, that wasn't good. And then I somehow swindled myself out of the games. Swindle out of the games sounds wrong. I mean, yeah, I needed to swindle to get uh, out of the trouble. This is the right way to put it. Okay, this, this looks kind of nice. Maybe c5 now when I'm not so ready to play d5, or well, not so ready is, is a little bit too nice. I'm not ready at all. Threatening e5, queen doesn't have that many good squares. Yeah, queen trade is good. In the current situation. Yeah, c5 maybe. I still am not really ready for, for d5. Okay, let's have a look at a4. Mm, that's a good move. Threatening to potentially just take. I don't have bishop e3, yeah, that's bad. Time warning. Ah, that's a good move. I cannot take this rook takes the form. Hmm. And I overlook stuff. Whoa. And rook b2. Yeah, I'm getting outplayed again. What the heck? <laughs> and uh, from a very good position this time. From a really good position this time. I have no move. I'm totally lost here. Great. Uh, blundering the rook. White what? What? <laughs> yeah, here white is just uh, just very comfortably better. And how did I bungle it up again? I mean, this is this is excellent for white, really excellent. Oh, bishop d2 wins the queen basically. That's very stupid. Yeah, she has no square. I mean, queen d2 was just, oh, let's have play a good ending, but there is no good ending, simply, is the problem. This wins the queen, or wins the piece. Um, yeah, rook b3 was even better. No, I didn't, I didn't think concretely enough. This is already annoying, really. Yeah, I overlooked e5. I just thought about rook d8. Just didn't think about e5 at all. Yeah, the engine gives some some line that trades it down to draw, but I didn't look for draws, you know. I was thinking I'm just better. And this is a draw. 
My, my position is too loose is the problem. Just far too loose. Okay, well I have queen, I have bishop d2 and win the win win everything, but no, I think I'm I'm reasonably happy about all this here. I think I played it okay. Here white is definitely more comfortable. Uh, knight c4, okay, I could have played that immediately, it was a bit better. But um, yeah, this is still fairly nice. I don't quite understand why the engine just gives 0 0.3, but okay. I mean, isn't that just a good position? Anyway, yeah, and then I stumbled into this stuff. Hmm. Uh, knight g4 was possible. Hmm, interesting. I didn't think about this, but that is probably good enough for a draw, of course. Yeah, I know. After bishop d3, this is really, um, really a shame. Bishop d2 was not exactly difficult. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.